This review has been made possible by Toyota of Naperville. As you know, Toyota has tons of brand new Toyotas available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to toyotaofnaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2005 Honda Element. Up front is a 2.4 liter inline four, and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here Honda Element for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love this sort of 2000 boxy era that I'm really starting to notice was quite the big fad in the 2000s. We had the Kia Soul, we had the Scion XB, we had the Honda Element, we had the Nissan Cube, all of these really square vehicles that kind of have become cult classics. And so I haven't driven a Honda Element before and I'm excited to get that into my repertoire. The other reason is the fact that I knew a couple of people in high school that had these. I had driven one of these a long, long time ago, but never on camera. So let's see how it does. Let's get back to that 2.4 liter inline four under the hood. I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen. Nothing really too crazy. That's not really why you buy a Honda Element. However, that is a K24 engine for you Honda fans. So if you're looking to K24 swap something, look for a Honda Element. Like I said, paired to it is an automatic transmission. It's fine, it's shifting normal. It does have overdrive, which I could turn on and off, but that's not that big of a deal. It's whatever. Last but not least, this is all wheel drive. This Honda Element is all wheel drive. Now, not all Honda Elements were all wheel drive, but this one is, which makes this car absolutely awesome in the snow. That's why a lot of people seek these out is for their snow capabilities, especially here in the Midwest where we get snow for probably about half the year. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. We have a lot of quirkiness to go through in here, and I do have some strong opinions about it. In front of me, I have three physical gauges. On the left is my tachometer, in the center is my speedometer, and on the right is fuel, gear, and coolant temperature. On the steering wheel, on the right, I have my cruise control, and that's it. It's a sort of lopsided, asymmetrical steering wheel, but that's fine. It's very typical of the 2000s Honda. It's fine. To the left of me, I do have a vent, as well as a little cubby on the dash, which as we'll learn is not the only one. On the door, I have lock and unlock up top, power mirrors and power windows down below. And then we'll move into the center. We have our typical Honda radio here, nothing really too crazy. However, I do wanna start touching on the tune knob. The tune knob is very easy to use and does not skip channels. I've been driving a lot of used vehicles from the 2000s. I've been driving them from here to Milwaukee for work and some tune knobs are very hard to use but this is very easy to use and i like that it has am fm cd aux xm and then of course my display button and i really really like this radio for a stock radio it's very nice then i have my climate controls nothing really too crazy here i don't get any dual zone however i like how big the knobs are i like the gears and the grips on the outside of the knobs I think it all works really well together. Very simple and it's very easy to use. Then we have the shifter, very reminiscent of the EP3 SI Civic where it's on the dash. However, of course this is automatic, but there was a manual option for the Honda Element. You could get an all wheel drive manual element. Kid in high school had one of those and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. My hazard switch is up off to the left and it's nice and comfortable. It is on the dashboard, the shifter itself. However, it's nice and easy to use. It's right by my hand. Now, we don't really have a center console. There's actually floor in between the cup holders and the front dashboard, which isn't found in typical vehicles. However, I do actually wanna talk about the floor for a second here, something I normally don't don't do because, well, it's the floor. I don't really know what else to say. But here I have this sort of non-slip padding that goes throughout the entire vehicle. And the fact that these seats aren't really directly connected to the front dashboard, there's no direct center console, it really makes this element feel like public transport. It really feels like a train car. Not only because of the non-slip flooring, but also if we move up above me, there's this little storage container that has a door, but it has this sort of net bottom when you actually put things in there, much like an overhead container you would find in a train car or airplane. And so I'll show a panning shot of the floor here, as well as puts a little bit of sound behind it, and you tell me. The next stop is Fulton Street. 
Stand clear of the closing doors, please. See what I mean? This feels like a public transport. This feels like something that I don't own. I just kind of get into after buying a ticket. Up to the right of everything, I have this other huge shelf in the front of the element, which I really like. And this is actually where my aux port and 12 volt outlet can be found. Now, down in the center, I do have cup holders. So we'll do a big friggin' bottle test and it sits in there a little bit, but as soon as I take a corner, my bottle is flying all over the place. So unfortunately I have to fail this here Honda element. <laughs> Before we get on with the rest of the review, I want to give a huge thank you to Fixed. Fixed is a Bluetooth OBD2 sensor for your car. You can plug it into any OBD2 vehicle, which is a vehicle manufactured after 1996, and you can take a look at your gauges, you can keep an eye on your temperature, you can see your speed, you can time your zero to 60. There's tons of really cool features that will pair directly to your smartphone, and it gives you great insight on your vehicles. Fixed is giving my viewers a hefty discount, so click the link in the description below, get your own Fixed OBD2 to Bluetooth sensor and start learning more about your car. Now we got to talk about the seats. The seats are cloth. They're the sort of thick, almost nylon feeling cloth, but they are decently comfortable and I'm not complaining too much. However, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. So two things to note before we get into the back of the Honda element. First of all, it has these rear half suicide doors. So you have to open up the front doors first and then there's this little lever here and then this allows you to open up the rear doors. But once we're back here, before we actually sit back here, these seats go completely flat to fully enjoy the rear sunroof. We'll talk about that when we're actually sitting down in it, but I wanted to show that these seats go flat as well as they go up against the walls. I'll show that when we talk about the cargo area. These carabiners are used to hook them right here and they actually fold up this way. Again, we'll talk about that in a second, but I just wanted to show that these can be laid fully down to A, enjoy the sunroof, or B, just lay down and have a good time. But let's actually hop back here. All right, so once we're actually back here in the Honda Element, first thing that you'll notice is the stadium seating. I sit, this is about my eye level, and you are looking over the driver and the front passenger. I really like that these seats are actually higher up than the driver seats, which I love. Up above me, like I said, I get this beautiful sunroof, which, can be cracked open if you're on like a camping trip, you want some fresh air, whatever it is. It's like a bus hatch. And I really, really love that. This car is camp ready. Like I said, the seats lay down. You could crack this for a little bit of ventilation. I love that. This is a very versatile back seat. And plus, as I'm sitting here, I mean, look at how much room I have. My knees have no prayer of hitting the front seat. I mean, just like look at this space right here again. Very reminiscent of a train car. I got train cars on the brain, what can I say? So let's take a look at the cargo because these seats actually flip up to the sides and it offers a ton of cargo space. So let's go around back and take a look. All right, so we're on the back of the Honda Element. And so, first of all, you get this first hatch to come up and then pull this and I actually get a tailgate. So very few cars besides pickup trucks actually come with tailgates, but I thought it was kind of interesting to point out here, which I really like. I wish that the glass just came up, like just the glass, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. However, once we're in here, look at this. Look at this space. So the seats fold up in a quite nonsensical way. Very interesting how the seats actually fold up and there's carabiners actually up at the top there. There's our spare tire, which I like. It has this nice big panel. And I mean, just look at the space back here. When the seats are actually folded up out of the way, look at the space. This is insane. If you need more room than this, you need to rent a U-Haul truck or something of the sort. I love these big sort of dividers here. I do get a 12 volt outlet up here as well. Nice storage options. Absolutely fantastic. I love this. This is a great reason to buy a Honda Element. They're cheap on the used market now. They're Hondas, they'll run forever, and they can store a bunch of stuff. Paired with the all-wheel drive, this thing's really a win. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And first of all, I love the look of the Honda Element. I think they were the first ones to really buy into this whole 
plastic cladding on the side and makes it look more rugged. Now we see this in like the CX-30 and the Kia Sorento. They have these sort of plastic fenders on them, but I feel like, feel like the Honda Element really pioneered that. Overall, I like the look of it. Again, I think it looks rugged. I think it looks sporty and it's from the boxy era and I really, really like it. So now we got to talk about the Honda Element as a whole. What do I think of this car? Well, I really like it. Something I failed to touch on earlier is the visibility. This being a boxy car, it has really good visibility, really nice. And everything seems very ergonomic. The shifter is in a comfortable location. My seating position is in a comfortable location. I could see everything, which makes me feel comfortable. And overall, it just, it feels very well built and it feels like it was built for people. But again, that's why I say this feels like a train car. Maybe it's just the gray and silver color. I'm not saying that as a bad thing either. It just, it gives off the vibe of the L train, or more specifically, the red line. It's not sporty. It doesn't have much performance, like a train car. It has overhead storage that is oddly made so you can see what's in it, I guess so people can't hide things. Again, like a train, it has the non-slip flooring like a train. The seats are disconnected like a train. <laughs> I don't know, this just feels like a train car to me. That being said, I don't dislike it. I think the Honda Element is actually a fantastic car. They kick butt in the snow. As we talked about in the back, tons of storage options. I mean, I always talk about how the Honda Fit, you could fit anything in, but the Honda Element, you could really fit anything in. This is a fantastic car. It really truly is. It just has the interior decorating of a subway train from downtown Chicago. That's all. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Toyota of Naperville for letting me take out their Honda Element. This is one of their used vehicles on a the lot. They have hundreds of used cars on a lot at all times. If Honda Elements aren't your thing, or if Toyotas aren't even your thing, definitely go check them out. If you're looking for a new car in the Chicagoland area, Toyota of Naperville should be your first stop. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really like to. Take care, guys.